any VHDL design is uh, dependent on the presence of libraries. Libraries are collections of uh, entities and components and functions that we have already uh, added to the design. So there are two important libraries that we have to be aware of. There's the work library, and this work library is used by default. You don't need to indicate that you are using it. The work library is the library that contains everything that you have uh, designed so far. So when we talked about hierarchical design, we indicated that we will be designing components and then using these components to build bigger components and so on. So the work library is the place where we dump everything that we have designed so far so that it is accessible to higher levels of design. So if you are write an entity and architecture, i.e. a complete design, and that design then becomes part of your work library. It can be declared as a component and used in other entities and other architectures without the need uh, to include anything in the file. Everything in the work library can access everything else in the work library. The other library that we almost always use is the IEEE library. So this is the keyword, uh, this is the syntax that we use to declare our intention to use the IEEE library, library IEEE. This is a standard line that you will find at the top of almost every VHDL design. The IEEE library contains uh, a set of uh, uh, data types, uh, functions, uh, operations, and redefinitions of operations that are very commonly used and are very, very, very useful. So uh, any library is going to contain a number of packages. Uh, each package contains uh, maybe functions, types, subtypes, depends on the type of package. The IEEE library contains um, uh, five major packages that we uh, will uh, probably need to use. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, the most important package is the package uh, shown here. So here we are using the package called IEEE.StandardLogic1164.all. So the use keyword indicates that we are using a package. IEEE is the library to which this package be belongs, and the name of the package is StandardLogic1164. So uh, we are indicating that from this library, we are using this package. Which part of the package are we going to use? We're going to use all of it. So this opens up everything within this package for our use. When we talk about packages, we'll talk about this syntax a little bit more, but it is actually uh, safe to indicate that you will use all parts of the package once you declare it, because nothing will actually translate into hardware unless you use it within your design. So this statement just makes it available to you to use. So what does this package do? This particular package opens up the uh, standard logic data type for use. In the last video, we used the standard logic data type to declare all our, of our ports and internal signals. We will now talk about what the standard logic data type really means. And the standard logic data type redefines uh, the default data type of VHDL. So uh, VHDL has a default data type called bit. And if you declare anything as a bit, it can take only two values, 0 or 1. Uh, a bit vector is a bus of bits, and its length can be declared using the syntax x down to y or y up to x, as we saw in the last video. Now, standard logic is a data type, and its vector form is standard logic vector. All of our, uh, all of our uh, signals are going to be of the standard logic and standard logic vector type. So standard logic, like the bit type, can take the values 0 and 1. These are the normal binary values of 0 and 1, and they indicate that the node is being strongly driven towards a ground or supply from a low impedance path of a uncontested logic gate. But a standard logic bit can also take a bunch of other values. Specifically, it can be x, which means that we cannot resolve the value of the signal. This usually happens when the signal is being written to by multiple sources, when there is contention on the signal. This will often appear in behavioral simulations, but will cause an error by most synthesizers. 
U means that the node has an undefined value. Uh, this is common to see in uh, uninitialized nodes when the circuit first starts up. You don't know if it's a zero or a one. Uh, this is particularly common inside pipeline registers, and inside shift registers, when you first start to simulate. And uh, you don't really know what they contain. You know, you have latency. Z indicates that the node is high impedance, is not being driven by anyone. Uh, don't care means that the uh, designer is actually indicating that the input at this point is don't care. H, L, and W indicate that the node is either being uh, driven to one, zero, or as undefined, but that the drive that is producing it is weak. This is uh, usually as a result of a wired OR or a wired AND, and uh, it's different from the zero and the one that we are used to. So the standard logic type is useful because it allows us to describe different, um, different values of the signal other than the simple zero and one. It's extremely important to uh, remember that standard logic uh, signals can have more values than just zero and one. And the reason is when we design, we are mostly concerned with zeros and ones. Uh, the signals are going to be correct, meaningful, non-trivial when they are 0 or 1. But the synthesizer doesn't really know that they are just 0 or 1. It knows that they can be something else. And so when we talk about latching, for example, we will find that uh, if we miss the fact that standard logic bits can take more than 0 or 1, we can end up creating latches where we don't want them to exist. So just remember this. Now, the IEEE library also contains other uh, packages. Uh, there's a package called Standard Logic Arithmetic, Standard Logic Arith. Um, this includes descriptions of all arithmetic operators. Uh, it actually is a redefinition of arithmetic operators, which are defined by default in VHDL for the bit type, but this redefines them for the standard logic type. And then there are two uh, packages uh, which are standard logic uh, signed and standard logic unsigned. And standard logic signed and unsigned are mutually exclusive, meaning that if you declare that you are going to use one of them, you should not declare using the other. And if you do actually declare that you're using both packages, you will probably get a compilation error. You wouldn't even get to synthesis. And the reason is, these two packages uh, declare that the numbers in your registers are either signed uh, two complement numbers or unsigned uh, positive numbers. And so they augment the arithmetic package by indicating the type of or, or the kind of, of, uh, of uh, number storage system in the registers. And so your numbers cannot be signed and unsigned at the same time, so you cannot declare the use of both packages. The last package is the uh, standard logic text IO package. And this is a standard, this is a package that allows us to use uh, file inputs and outputs to write data to files and to read data from files. This is a specialized package uh, that we'll be use, uh, looking at when we look at file access. Uh, it describes four functions and a data type, uh, and without it, we wouldn't be able to access uh, 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 data from files.